Now let's take a look at the contact repository tab and we'll click edit first up here at the top. So the first couple of selections are going to be for the repository notification emails. The top one here is case level notification. And you'll see something in red, the case level notification cannot be set by each site. Changes will affect all sites. So if your database has multiple RB websites, basically there is one email notification that can be set up for all sites. So you cannot set up one per site. So this is the case level notification. So whatever files you upload to the case level repository and you notify, this is the actual email they'll receive and you can modify that email, add merge fields if you wish, insert images, links, change the font, everything like that. The second email right here will be the job level notification. So job level repository uploads. And again, subject, message, all the same settings. You can modify the email there. The third email down here is the witness level notification. So any files that you're uploading to the witness level repository and you want to send notifications for those files, this is its own email setting as well. Okay, so again, subject, email, all the same changes. And lastly, for emails, you have the invoice level email notification. So if you are emailing clients about invoices being available, then you can modify the email they receive pertaining to that as well. Now let's go down to the bottom section. So users to notify, this is for repository. So these users will be notified when clients are notified when um, you send out the notifications. And then on the right hand side, um, these are very important. These actually affect when a client can download a file. One has to do with original invoices and one has to do with copy invoices. Allow file downloads when the original invoice is paid. If that box is checked, that means if the invoice isn't original, checked original, that means nobody can download those files until it's fully paid. The second one, allow file downloads when the copy is fully paid. So that's the opposite, copy sales. If you require those to be fully paid before they can download them, go ahead and check that box. Majority of the time, you'll probably set it like this. You'll allow your clients, the ones who are scheduling the jobs, the ones that you're selling the original to, to download the file without having to pay for the invoice. But copy sales is a different story. Uh, sometimes you'll want to, or a lot of times you'll want to make sure that they pay for the invoice before they can actually download the file. So a lot of people will set it up this way. So after you make your changes, make sure you click save at the top right.